Good morning, guys. I thought I'd just pull out my camera and vlog a little bit over the next couple of days. I'm not doing anything like exciting, but I like watching like chill day in the life videos. I like knowing what people are actually getting up to. So I'm just gonna do like a couple days chill. I did my makeup and I blew out my hair. So I'm ready for the day. I have content to film. I have Zoom meetings. I have a lot of computer work to do. Also, Matt is home today. Sometimes he'll get like really random days off in the middle of the week. It just depends on all the scheduling, but he's home today. And when I know that's gonna happen, I try to like rearrange my work a little bit so I can spend time with him while he's home because we almost like never get to hang out with each other. So while he's home, I wanna hang out with him. I also need to enlist his help in hanging some artwork around finally. I can't do it by myself because they're like really big pieces. So if he's home today, he can help me hang those. I would love it if I could get him to drop off my clothes that I want to donate off at like a recycling center or a donation center because as we all know, I don't drive. I'm drinking this juice. It's a kale, celery, cucumber, broccoli, granny smith, and ginger root juice. I got it from Whole Foods last night. It was $8, which I didn't know until I was ringing it up. And at that point I was in the checkout line, like the self-checkout at Whole Foods. And I get so anxious when I'm in a self-checkout line, I have no idea why. And so I just like went with it. I like couldn't get rid of it. I didn't want to ask this, like the person to cancel the transaction because I was embarrassed. So, and I was anxious and I was like starting to sweat. So I just paid $8 for the juice. It's pretty good. I think Matt and I are going to start the morning off going for a little walk. Again, we just don't get a lot of quality time. So we're just going to go for a little walk and then the work for the day is going to start. I don't know what direction this vlog is going to go in, but let's just do it. You're so dressed up. Yeah. Why do I look dressed up? Yeah. I appear on camera as part of my job. Turn well, I know that. Is that why you're dressed up? Yeah, I did my hair and makeup because I have to film today. Although I think it might be like a video I'm not even in. We'll see. You ready to go for a walk? <laughs> I feel like, like I'm a dog. <laughs> you ready, you for, ready your for your walk? You ready, you ready to go on your walk? Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. But are you ready though? I'm, I'm ready to go grab a coffee, yeah. Yeah, we have to go to Whole Foods because somebody... <laughs> so I went to Whole Foods last night. I got uh, this juice, but I also got supplies for this video I need to film today. And last night, somebody ate all of them. What do you have to say for yourself? They're my favorite snacks. There was no, you know, heads up, don't eat these. It's just left in the snack cupboard for free, you know, for free grabs. He's really trying hard to justify it. It was a, it's a free for all in this house, guys. Gotta, Only because of you. <laughs> this vlog is just going to be me and Matt annoying each other all day long. All right, can we go? I've been waiting for the last hour. Kombucha? Just Actually, get a couple. Healthy ones are cheaper today. Are they? Healthy is my absolute favorite. Beautiful lady, yeah. That's my favorite one. We came to Trader Joe's instead, which is very dangerous because Matt and I together in Trader Joe's tend to make irresponsible decisions. Like, what is this? What are you picking up? Okay, I'm about to put you onto something. Trader Joe's has like the best red wine selection. Matt and I have tried a lot of them. I'm about to put you on. This is a cost effective but actually really good red wine. It's called Figment. It's a blend, $6.99. Very good for the price. Also, while we're on the subject, I'll show you my favorite like rosé. Filming with such an awkward angle right now. Okay, the rosé is really good. Here it is. This rosé, I think it's $9. $8.99, St. Sagnol, I don't know. Really good. You know it's good when the yolk starts pouring like that. Ooh, I asked them for a medium. Beautiful. Okay, I'm back. Matt went off to go to the gym in the driving range. I need to prepare for some content I need to film today. I have a brand deal that I need to submit today. And I'm making like a gift basket in the video because Mother's Day is coming up, it's Mother's Day theme. So I got this basket off of Amazon and some filler off of Amazon. And then I, we went and got supplies. And I'm gonna, one of the components in the gift basket is gonna be like little snacks, but you can't put like, other branded items in a brand deal video if that makes sense or not usually like not for most of them so i got these bags i got like these little bags individual snack bags and i have like the snacks and i'm gonna prepare for the video by putting snacks in the little bag so there aren't any like other brands um in the brand deal once i start filming it so i need to do that i'm gonna do this to all of my different snacks, and then I need to prep my area where I'm gonna film and make it look like aesthetic and cute, and then I'll go ahead and film, and I'll just like take you behind the scenes. So, like I've said before, content creation is not my only job, but it is what I have to do the most of today, so we're doing a like little behind the scenes.
Okay, I'm gonna film here because I feel like that makes the most sense and it'll be easy to set up my tripod, but I need to clean this up a little bit. I just got rid of like the dead flowers that I had on here. Um, these are fake. So I need to clean this up. Can you see from here? This is like really far away, kind of. Oh my God, you can see how messy my house is. Oh! anything like for a brand I go over the creative brief and like the concept just one more time to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything and that what I film will work and be approved because I don't want to film things you know over and over again I change into just like a plain little shirt I've got the product I'm promoting um, so let's just do it I think I'm gonna do it kind of montagey with a voiceover and so I don't have to talk while I'm filming which is nice so I'm just gonna leave you guys here and here I go to work. Okay, that took longer than I thought it was going to, but we got it. I have a Zoom call that I need to attend pretty quickly. I don't think I have time to start editing this video before the Zoom call, so I'll do that after. So let's think. Zoom call, edit this, emails. Matthew is home from the gym and he's making us lunch. Sort of. It's like, it's four o'clock. Oh wait, no, is that 400 degrees on the thing? It's 400 degrees. Okay, it's- But it's half three. It's 3.30. Matt thinks that lunch is just like your pre-dinner meal and it doesn't matter what time of day it is. He just calls it lunch. It'll be like five o'clock. It'll be like I'm about to make lunch. And he's still ready for dinner at 6.30 every day. What are you making? Uh, chicken pastu. Chicken pastu. So we get all of our meal prep kits from this company called Green Chef. This is not sponsored. We just literally use them every single week. And they send you like, actually I'll just show you. They send you these bags. They look like this. You can like pick which recipes out of the ones provided they send you. And they send you like a meal prep bag and a recipe card. And we really like it because they only send you as many ingredients as you need to like, they only send you the ingredients that you need in the measurements you need to make the dish. So you don't have any leftover food. And that was a really big problem for us because we were constantly having to like throw away things because we weren't using them fast enough. Yeah. So this really helps us minimize waste. We're also eating at home like more often than we used to. We used to order so much. Like how often would we order out? Um, an embarrassing amount. An I'm em not willing to say perfectly. An embarrassing amount. So we're cooking more at home now too. All good things. I want some attention. Well, I'm gonna stand burnt? here until I get it. Do you want your food burnt or do you want it cooked well? I want both attention and my food cooked well. No, you can't have both. <laughs> I'm still working. I need to finish up my editing. Um, and then we're gonna hang up the art, I think. Although there's packages downstairs, Matthew. There's so many. I'm just if you can go get me the packages, that would be so nice. Okay, work is done for the day and we're up on top of the building for a little R&R. &R. And by R&R, &R, I mean rosé on the roof, which we're just gonna drink and read our books. The rooftop is one of our favorite parts about this building. There's a pool back there which doesn't open, which isn't opened yet. But we do have a very, very cheeky view of the Capitol and the National Monument. Or Washington Monument and the National Mall and the Capitol. And uh, the right hand side is, um, is that what called on the right hand side? The far right there. It's where we walked with the- The wharf. The wharf? No, in front of the wharf, there's the building. Oh, the tidal basin. Yeah. The tidal basin is where you go to see the cherry blossoms. The cherry blossoms, and then that's that. That's the Jefferson Memorial, the that Jefferson white Memorial. building. We got that rosé I showed you uh, from Trader Joe's earlier, and Matt's gonna read his book. I'm listening to a book on Audible, but so I'm just gonna sit here with my <laughs> headphones on. Um, we're not in the mood to make dinner yet. It's super bright. So not in the mood to make dinner yet, so we're just gonna. Rosé and read and chill. It's for you. This is my one. It's not funny. <laughs> Dude, this rosé is kind of funky. It smells so good. It tastes nice. It smells really fruity. I don't think it's super fruity. Really? 
I think it goes down like water. Like you got to be careful. Wow. I told you. Hello, it is the next day after R&R &R last night. We just, honestly, I called my parents and talked to them for like an hour, and then I called my brother, one of my brothers, and talked to him for like an hour, and we had dinner and went to bed. It was really chill. Today, it is Thursday, and I'm gonna go meet up with Clara. Um, Clara Pierce, she's on TikTok and YouTube as well. We followed each other for a while before realizing we live down the street from each other. And we're gonna go work um, in a coffee shop today. I need to work on my resume. I need to write something. I need to edit something. I got up early and I did like content creation for a brand um, before all of this today. So for the rest of the day, besides vlogging, I really just need to focus on like, you know, my offline career, my offline life and stuff. So I thought this would be fun because like yesterday I showed you behind the scenes of content creation and then today I'm doing like behind the scenes of other stuff. That Highland cow literally haunts me every day in this house. Also today it would be great if I could tidy a little bit because I'm throwing a birthday party. It's like a small thing but it's for one of my friends tomorrow night here. And I need to put together a box because I'm going to do a giveaway of extra PR products and I need to work on sorting that out too. So definitely a busy day. Also hoping to get a little outfit picture if Clara will so oblige, which I know she will. You gotta tell me like, <laughs> did you want kind of the same well, like, frame? The... Also my fake tan didn't like stick as well as I thought. So if my fake looks like the okay. wrong color in the sliding just My closer. Closer, I don't really care, honestly, anything. Okay, like mid thighs, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, wait, there's so like these, Yeah, no, I like that kind of. Okay. okay. We just had a little outfit shoot. We haven't even done our work yet. We thought it'd be better to like get that completely out of the way. Look at these flowers that I got. Look how beautiful these are. And they wrap them too. Like we asked them at Whole Foods and they come like they, they made a bouquet out of these two separate bouquets and they wrapped it and tied it. So I already needed flowers for the house, so I'm really excited about these. All right, now we're gonna do work. Okay, hey guys, I did not vlog as much while I was out at Toddy as I should have which is kind of a good thing because it meant that I was getting like a lot of real work done. Um, but it's kind of a bad thing because I was also supposed to be working on this vlog. <laughs> I definitely had a good time with Clara. We got cute outfit pictures and then we got food and we just sat down and like grinded. And then we had a little venting session. Um, and then I had to come home because I needed to put my flowers in water. Let me show you. I think they're so pretty. I had no idea that Whole Foods like arranged flowers. A little bit wilty right now because they were out of water for like three hours. I put ice cubes in it. I heard on TikTok that if you put ice cubes in your flower water, it'll make them like perk up. I don't know. I think they're really pretty though. Oh my God, it's four. We were at the coffee shop for a long time, but it's good. I've always been more productive outside of my house. I also hate working in an office. So coffee shop is like the perfect gonna be transparent i'm probably gonna sit on the couch for like 30 minutes and goof off you can see the like bags of clothes i need to donate and the boxes i need to take to recycling let's just keep going i think i am gonna chill for a little bit though i could show you more like behind the scenes of me working but it's literally just me either sitting on my phone editing or on my laptop writing which is not like i obviously can't tell you the specific projects that i'm working on so i don't know if there's much point in me showing the behind the scenes again I feel like you've kind of already seen it all. Matt just asked me if I could cook dinner. For the first time in two weeks. I have ordered for us, I've ordered a burrito for us several times. Once, Chipotle is for us. That is cooking dinner. The other one was pizza for you when I went out for dinner. That is cooking dinner. <laughs> what planet is that a cooking dinner? I don't like cooking. And you're just so much better at it. I am, but can you cook dinner tonight? Is this important to you? I mean, it's not important to me. If you don't do it, then we're starving. <laughs> oh, so you're just not gonna cook? Yeah, it's either that I'm gonna order food. So, I mean, theoretically, if you did want to order food, <laughs> I just did this whole thing. I think I even said it in this vlog. Maybe I did. I don't remember that. Like, we use Green Chef because it makes us cook at home more. I mean, but if it you does. did want to order out, where it, would you want to order from? It does make us. It does make us 
order out a lot less, right? Or order in, sorry, a lot less. But there's still weekday nights when, like, you're really tired and, you know, Uber Eats is super convenient. There's no, or whatever And your girlfriend won't cook for you. Well, I've got the bottle of red wine, so. Pizza? Pizzeria Orso? Yeah. I got Pizzeria Orso on Sunday. Oh my god, it's the best pizza. But it's so good. It's like, it is genuinely Wait, should we do it? <laughs> it is from Italy. Should we do it? Yeah, well, I mean, no, you already, you're not cooking. Unless you're cooking, we're happy. You already food. said Pizzeria Orso in the chat. Or sorry, you already said Pizzeria Orso, so now I'm getting excited. <sighs> if you live in DC or the DMV and you are not ordering from Pizzeria Orso... Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself to the best pizza of your life. This is what it looks like. I so mean, to be bucks. honest, so I feel it's a pricey pizza, but I mean, you really pay. I mean, the, the one I got, the one I got on Monday was fourteen. Yeah, there. I mean, I mean, it's not like Papa John's pizza. It's like gourmet yeah, it's pizzas. Like, you know what I mean? So it is like a little bit more expensive, but it is literally so good. I feel like I mean, pizzas at loads of restaurants, and I, this is still there. I feel like. I'm still down to try so many more pizza places just to really know what the best pizza ever is. I don't want to but this is the best that I've tried so far. In the States anyway. Not I to be that annoying pretentious person who's like, the pizza I had in Italy was so much better. But it was. <laughs> do you wanna get the truffle do you wanna get the truffle ricotta dip? Oh baby. Margarita pizza is just the superior pizza flavor. We For also children. got for children, it's classic. We've got some potatoes. The child's pizza. We've got some truffle ricotta dip. And this is like, um, it's a lemon olive oil cake. And we're drinking, what are we drinking? Coke de Rhone? Probably said that wrong. I don't actually know how to say Coke de Rhone, but it's our favorite type of wine. Or I think it's actually a region. I think it's our favorite region of wine, I don't know. We're gonna watch Suits, which we've been, kind of like, we go back and forth. It's kind of our like, in between other things show. 